I think that this is Logic Pro for iPad's best session player. Not only does it have some of the best editing controls of the three available, it's also ridiculously flexible and sounds great with loads of different instruments, not just pianos. All of Logic Session players have really powerful editing options, but I think the Keyboard Session player has the most in-depth and useful. The Keyboard Session player has five different songwriter keyboard styles to choose from. In the main tab, you can choose whether your session player will play using the left or right hand by clicking to select them or deselect them. You can select from different patterns here and, just like the other session players, different keyboard styles have a different amount of patterns available. The Freely style has 6 patterns, the Block Chord style has 8, and the Simple Pad has none. Just like the drummer and bass session players, you can create your own patterns in the Manual tab too. You can change the range of the keyboard that your session player will play with these sliders. And down here, you can change the voicing of the left hand from root only to root fifth and octave. and also the voicing of the right hand, from one voice to stacked. Depending on the keyboard style you have selected, you may also see options for style and movement on the left and right hands. In the Details tab, you can increase or decrease the amount of grace notes played and adjust the phrasing in the block chord style and the arpeggio mode in the arpeggiated style. And you have feel, dynamics and humanized controls here too. Surprise, surprise, the piano session player works really well with, well, pianos and Logic Pro's stock pianos in particular. I go into much more detail about the studio piano instrument in this video. This video, it's up here somewhere if you want to check it out and find out more. But the bottom line is they are brilliant, with the vintage upright being a particular standout for me. The keyboard session player also pairs really well with Logic Pro for iPad's other studio instruments. You can create lovely string sections using the simple pad keyboard style and the studio strings. I find adjusting the voicing and note range controls in the keyboard session player's editor can make things sound really good.
while using the block chord style along with the studio horn's different horn sections, can create some great sounding wind accompaniments. You can even use pretty much any stock instrument sound along with the keyboard session player to create your own custom session player. I go into this in far more detail in this video if you want to have a go at creating your own DIY session players in Logic. If like me you also have an almost uncontrollable compulsion to hoover up every single AUV3 app on the iOS App Store, you can also use these with the keyboard session player to great effect. Relatively simple apps like Clevgren's Spell Dosa work really well with simpler patterns and voicings. while powerful synth apps like Baby Audio's BA1 and Moog's Model D pair exceptionally well with the simple pad style. Let me know which of Logic Pro for iPad session players is your favourite down in the comments. And if you could give that like button a good hard slap on the way past, I'd really appreciate it. And for more info on those amazing piano sounds that came with the most recent update to Logic Pro for iPad, watch this next.